let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So here we have two data sets have different variances. So when I see variance, right, that's a measure of spread. So it's talking about they're not spread out the same. One is probably more spread out than the other. And it says a constant of k units is added to all numbers in both data sets. What effect, what is the effect on the new variances? So I would say problems like this, especially when they add k units, right? It's just this letter. They didn't say we add two units or seven units. Um, it, you, you can attack this problem two ways. Uh, some folks will have like gut feelings about this and some will need to actually crunch the numbers. And for me, only because I've been doing this for decades now, I can feel out that if I were to add a, a number, a constant to every data or every number in a data set, it wouldn't change how the data was spread out, right? So if every number in a data or every value in a data set gets added like two units, three units, that doesn't change their relative spacing from each other. It'll change their center, but it won't change their spread or their standard deviation or their variance. So I can actually feel out that both variances will stay the same. And let's say you weren't there. You're like, I, I don't really have that in my in my wheelhouse yet. That's fine. Just pick a data set. I always pick my favorite, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's just think about if we had this data set. And I actually pre-programmed this into my calculator. So let me go over to it. And I just put it in my list here. Oops, let me get rid of that letter A. One, two, three, four, five. Let me go back to my calculation screen and let's run one of our stats off of L1 and let's just take a look at the standard deviation. We can see it there at 1.58. I'm also going to take note of the mean of three. Let me just write this on my notes here. So for this, I would have known that my mean was three and my standard deviation was 1.58. Now keep in mind, it's talking about variance, but variance is just the square of the standard deviation. If you wanted to, and I'll go back into my calculator, I could go get the variance, right? It's down here, stat second list, math, option eight. If I did it off of L1, uh, you could see it was 2.5. So I'll go ahead and just take note of that too, just so we have it. So my variance was 1.5. All right, now let's say I added a constant to every value in this data set, and I'm just gonna pick 20. Uh, let me put this as data set number two. Let me actually put this was data set number one. All right, so I'm just gonna choose 20. You can choose any, number you want, 20, 10, seven, negative five, a half, it doesn't matter. But if I added 20 to every data value, I would go 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my measures of spread, my standard deviation variance for this new data set, and let's see if, if anything changed. So let me go into my list and let's do, actually I'll do this all at once. Let me go ahead and just define this to be L1 plus 20, and I'm gonna hit enter, and then it auto-populates. And let's go get our one of our stats, and this time let's go off of L2. And it looks like my mean is 23, and my standard deviation is 1.58. Let me write that down. All right, so my mean was 23, and my standard deviation was still 1.58. And I, maybe you can see it, but same standard deviation is going to give us to the, lead us to the same variance. But just to check it, let me go ahead and go back in here, and let's do the variance of L2. All right, and I do get 2.5. which is great, right? And there we go. Both variances were staying the same. We can see 1.5 here. Oops, I think I wrote 2.5. Ah, hold on. Let me fix my own little typo. This should have been a 1.5. Or was it a 1.5? Now I'm guessing myself. No, it's 2.5. Oh, hold on. Did I write it down incorrectly from before? Let's see. What was the variance off of L1? Oh, it was 2.5. Okay, cool. Cool. Just wanted to double check that I can't do... Okay, so this is 2.5, it's this, and I swear I'm gonna get things to work out. This is 2.5, there we go. Now, <laughs> now I can say the variances are the same. All right, so there you go. You can either get it through gut feelings or you can crutch some numbers, all right? Thanks so much, everyone, bye.